Hi guys, Entertainment Reviews here and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than I normally do. I'm going to be taking a look at the New York Comic Con exclusives. This is week one and two. First off we have Zack Ryder. Now I don't really know who this guy is. I do like the design in his outfit. I love the purple and the white. I love his beard and the way they sculpted his hair. So I might get this one, but since I haven't been a WWE fan since it was WWF and my dad passed away and I swore I would never like wrestling again because that was mine and his thing. I don't really know if I'm going to get this or not, but I'm thinking about it. But yeah, this is Zack Ryder. Let's move on. Okay guys, so the next reveal is Lana Mormont. Please let me know in the comments if I'm saying that's wrong. But she looks pretty cool. I'm not a Game of Thrones. I haven't really seen the show yet. So please don't get mad at me. But this figure does look cool. I wonder who she's going to be shared with. But yeah, this is Lana Mormont. Looks pretty cool. I got to watch Game of Thrones. Now the next one we have is from Game of Thrones. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be shared with Bam. If I'm correct, which is great for me because this figure actually looks really cool and it's a redhead. But yeah, this is, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name because I don't know if I can. But yet, she still looks cool. I like that she has a cane in her hand. The sandals look nice. I like the robe look. I like the little hood. I like the red hair. This is really nice. I can't pronounce her name. I'm sorry. Let's move on. So the next wave of figures is going to be superhero themed. It's DC. And I definitely want almost all of these in this set. I definitely want this first one here. This is Superman number one. I definitely want this. I'm hoping it goes somewhere like Hot Topic, Barnes & Noble. Somewhere easy to get. But yeah, I'm a huge Superman fan. So I really do want this one. And I love how he has the original logo on his chest. Now this next one here is something I do want more than any of them in this wave. I'm hoping it don't go to Toy Tokyo again like the blue one did. This is, as you see here, Black Chrome Batman. This thing is really beautiful. I really don't have nothing to say except I want it. I need it. I have to have it. I love it. I wish it had the yellow symbol on the chest. But this is still a really great figure. I can't wait to hunt this down. Please don't let this be a Toy Tokyo because them are not easy to come by. To come by. Now this next figure here is an 8-bit figure. So far, I'm not sure how I feel about the 8-bits. I like the way the scope looks. But paint-wise, I got a feeling it's going to be pretty sloppy with paint. This is, of course, Batman in 8-bit form. Now, I do like this, and I do want to get this because I'm a huge Batman fan. But it depends on the paint for me. But yeah, 8-bit Batman looks really cool in the scoped. Paint-wise, well, I guess we'll see. I don't know where this is going to be shared with, but I'm hoping it will be shared with somebody good. Next up, we have some Dorbs. We have the, this is a three-pack of King Toot, Chase Riddler, and Mr. Freeze. Now, I really do like these Dorbs, but I have a feeling that they're probably limited to a certain number of, fig number of pieces. Sorry, I can't talk today. But I do like it. I do like that the Red Little Dorb is pretty much the Chase Pop. So I do like that. How is this going to be easy to get? I don't know. This could either be shared or it could be only at the con. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. But I do want this. This is nice. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Let's move on. Okay, so last up we have this action figure Batman Batmobile set which looks really great however i know this is going to be really expensive but i do like that the batmobile is blue i love the red bat logo i love that batman looks like adam west however like i said this is going to be really expensive probably impossible to get a hold of unless you're at the con 
I know that the regular one that I want is like fifty, sixty dollars at my local Books a Million. So yeah, if you're a big fan of Batman, I recommend I recommend this figure. If not, then I say save your money and get more pops. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of this figure. Okay, so here's week two. Now, the first, this is the second week. The first reveal of week two is Star Wars themed. So we have K250. I don't have any idea who that is. I'm sorry, I don't know much about Star Wars. I do know that this looks really nice. I like the details in it. I like that he's holding what looks to be a gun. This is a really nice figure. I might get it even though I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan. Okay, so next up we have Saul Guerrero with hair. This figure actually looks really cool. Again, I don't know who the character is. I've only seen Rogue One one time when it first came out. But yeah, this figure looks pretty cool. I might have to get it because I know I know a couple of people who are Star Wars fans. And also I like cool random figures. But yeah, I saw Guerrero with hair. Okay, so now we have Jen Oso. And it looks like she has some kind of helmet on. Again, like I said, I've only seen the movie one time. But it's still a really nice design looking figure. Pretty simple, but I do like the design of the helmet. I had how it has holes at the top. Okay, so next we have the Death Star droid. Now this one looks really cool, and this is probably the one out of all these Star Wars ones I would have to get, just because I like the design of it. Now this is white. I'm pretty sure I think I've seen a black one before. Let me know in the comments below if there is a black one. But I'm pretty sure I have seen a black one. But this one's white. I might have to get this one just because I like the design of it. Okay, so next we have Dingo or Dingo. I don't know how to pronounce his name. He looks okay, I guess. I don't know the character, so I'm not really excited about it. Because I don't really know the character. Let me, if you know, you can comment. Let me know if it's a new Star Wars character, an old one. Not really sure who he is, but he looks still looks pretty cool. Okay, so last up for Star Wars, we have Boba Fett with the Slave One. This one is really nice. This is a Pop Deluxe. I don't know why it's not a Pop Ride. I guess they just changed the name. I guess they're not doing Pop Rides anymore. Who knows? But this one still looks pretty cool. This is actually a really nice character. I do know who Boba Fett is and I do like his character. But I, I know I wouldn't be able to afford this. So I'm not even going to try and buy this. Because I know I could never afford it. But this is still a really great character. Let's move on to the next wave. Okay so the next reveal of week 2 is television themed. And we have Dolores. Who looks like a Terminator from Westworld. I've never seen Westworld. I have no idea what it is. If you know, again, comment and let me know. Never seen it. It looks cool. I like the design in this figure. So I might pick her up just because I like weird designs. But yeah, this is Dolores from Westworld. Let's move on. Okay, so next we have Arg from Troll Hunters. Now, I have yet seen Troll Hunters. I really want to watch that, but I just haven't had time to. But this character, I love the design. I look, I love how he looks like a statue, like a big piece of stone. So I definitely want this character. I can't wait to see who the next character is. Okay, guys, so the next reveal is Jim with the armor. Now, this is a pretty cool-looking pop. I have not seen Troll Hunters. But this is a cool looking pop. Now the outfit does kind of remind me of the Red Ranger from the new Power Rangers movie. But it's still really cool. I like the knife in his hand. I do like this. I don't know if I'm going to get it because I've never seen the show. But this is still really cool. But this next one is even cooler. This next one I want is something that I've been hoping they would make. And that is a Faith pop from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Huge fan of that show. Haven't 
seen it in a while, but I used to love watching it with my mom as a kid on like CPS and TNT. So I'm so happy that they're giving us more Buffy figures. We got Buffy, of course, and her outfit that is her outfit in the Walk Candy. And now we finally have Faith. This is a two-pack. Rumor says box lunch. Crossing my fingers not because I want this. So far, this is the main one I want in this set. But yeah, I've got Buffy, I got Angel, and I got Willow. I need this two-pack. Let's move on. Okay, so this next one I don't really know anything about. First Doctor from Doctor Who. It looks great. It looks like an old man. Again, I don't know anything about the show, but I'm pretty sure if you're a Doctor Who fan, you're going to want this either way. But yeah, still pretty cool pop. Okay, we got Slee Stack from Land of the Lost. Don't know what that is. This is probably the creepiest pop I've ever seen. And even if I wanted it, as you see on the sticker, it says Toy Tokyo. So yeah, there's no chance in getting this. Unless you're really lucky. Same thing with Enoch here. This one is also from Land of the Lost. And it's the sticker says Toy Tokyo. But yeah, good luck getting both of these if you're a fan of Land of the Lost. Me, I don't really know anything about the show. So I'm not going to worry about it. They are nice figures. If I saw them, I would get them. But because I have no way of going to Toy Tokyo, I'm not going to shred it. But yeah, Land of the Lost, let's move on. This next one here is something I am excited about. This is one of Negan's gang members. We have Dwight from The Walking Dead. Now, when I first started watching Season 7 a week ago, I liked this character. He's an asshole, but he's not as much of an asshole as Negan. So I definitely want this to add to my Walking Dead set. Hopefully the paint's good, the way his face is. Now me, I think they did put too much pink paint on his face for the burnt parts. But that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Still a great figure. I definitely want it. If you're a Walking Dead fan, you gotta have it. Now this next one is something I have to have. Actually, I gotta have all of them in the set. Because I'm a huge fan of Stranger Things. We have Eleven with electroids, and this looks great. She has a hospital gown. She has the wires on her head. I definitely want this to add to my Stranger Things set. So far, the only Stranger Things ones I got from this new set is Chase Hopper and uh, Hot Topic Hopper. But I'm adding slowly, and I can't wait to add this one. Okay, so last up for the television line, we have a Stranger Things three-pack action figure set which looks like we had the Demogorgon with his mouth closed we have upside down wheel and we have 11 with the rig on now these are really nice but I have seen the regular set in stores and they're a little tiny and they're a little pricey this one I might get if it's $20 but if it's like 30 or 40 I'm gonna pass but yeah this has been the television set let me know what you're going to be getting in this set. Okay guys, so the next reveal for week 2 is Disney. I am so excited for this wave. Let's get started with it. Okay, so the first reveal in the Disney set is Scrooge McDuck diving out of his money pit. And oh my god, this thing is like perfect. It's everything you would want if you're a DuckTales fan. Because that is such an iconic scene in the in the TV show in the opening. Oh my god I need this pop in my life. I can't wait to hunt down this pop. I'm going to get this no matter what. Even if I got to pay scalper price on eBay. But yeah. I have to have this pop. Okay so this next one is called Vincent. It's from the Disney movie The Black Hole. Now I have never seen this movie. Comment below if you've seen this. This is a really nice design pop. I love the design of it, the sculpt, the stand. Everything looks great. I just wish I knew more about the character, but I've never seen it along with this next one. Okay, so this next one is Maximilian, just like the other one from The Black Hole. I've never seen the movie, so I don't really know anything about it. 
Now I can tell you that both these figures look great. Maximilian looks great. I love the coloring of the red. I love the silver paint. I mean this is a great sculpt. They're both really nice sculpts. I just wish I knew what the movie was. I'm going to have to look it up. See what this is. Because I want both of these. But it's a good thing I don't want them too bad. Because they're going to Toy Tokyo. And well that's going to be a bitch and a half to hunt for. But anybody who does, who does want these. Sorry. Having a hard time speaking. Good luck with you. Good luck getting it. Okay, so these two next two are Halloween Goofy. Now this is a really great looking pop. This is from Kingdom Hearts. I love that game as a kid. And I love this pop. I love the design. I love how one eye is red and the other eye is black. But it has the white twirl in it. I mean, he looks like a scarecrow. I can't remember too much about him in the game. But all I know is I want this. I love how his hat is a screw. This is a great pop. And I really love the pumpkin on the nose. Just like Halloween Goofy, we have Halloween Donald. Also from Kingdom Hearts. These are both from Kingdom Hearts. And they both look great. I love the look on Donald. I love the bandages where he's wrapped up like a mummy. I love how he has tape covering his stomach. And part of his arm, I love how one arm is in a fist and the other arm is by, the, or by his side. The wraps look good. I love the brown paint they use for the wraps. The eyes look good. The white eyes, just like almost all pops, are usually white or black. But yeah, these are definitely two that I'm adding to my list. And I will definitely be on the hunt for Hopefully they go to Hot Topic or Barnes & Noble or somewhere. I know Books of Millions getting some pops in this year. So hopefully they go to there. But yeah, I want both of these. Goofy and Donald from Kingdom Hearts. Let's move on. Okay, so now we are getting into some figures that are going to be really limited. And you can probably, if you're lucky, only get these at the con. Which sucks because two of these I really want. First up, we have an orange flocked orange bird. Now, this is limited to 1,000 piece, so it's going to be really hard to get. Although, I am curious why they made him flocked and why they didn't do that in the first place. And if he's orange, what's flocked about him? Why is he flocked? I guess the feathers are flocked. Hell, I don't know. But it's still a really great figure. I just feel like I have a better chance of getting a regular one than I do this one. But this next one I really want. Okay, so the next one here is another Disney Parks exclusive. Which has now been turned into Flocked. And that is the Abominable Snowman. Now, this is one figure that I wanted when it originally came out. I, didn't, I wasn't able to get it. And I really want this one. I feel like this is my second and only other chance at getting it. However, I know I won't get it. Because if you look at the sticker, 1,000 piece. You know what that means, if you're not at the con, you don't get it unless you get lucky and they put it on the Funko Shop and you get lucky and able to get it that way. Hopefully I'll be able to get this because I really love this figure. I love the claws, I love the blue on his hands, his toes, his face, the teeth, the red eyes, the white flocked fur. I want this figure, this is the main figure I want in the Disney set. Hopefully I'll get it. Hopefully it goes on the Funko Shop. Or maybe somebody nice enough that goes to the con can get it for me. I doubt it. But yeah. Let's move on. Okay. So this next one is definitely one that you can only get at the con. I doubt it's going to go in the Funko Shop. And if it does, it's going to go real fast. As you see, this is the Dwarf's Ride of Mr. Toad in his car. This is limited to 750 pieces, but man, this is a really nice Dorbs ride. This will look great next to my It's a Small World, because I feel like I will never see Disney World or Disneyland in my life, because every time I try to go, I end up going to Harry Potter instead. So hopefully one day I'll see what Disney World and Cinderella's Castle looks like up close. But yeah, this is a really nice ride. I love the details in it. I love the details in the wheels. I love the detail of Mr. Toad himself. I love the smile they gave him. 
But being that it's so limited, I doubt anybody who's not at the con is going to be able to get this. But I guarantee you, this is probably one of every Disney fan's must-have. Okay, so the last item we have for the Disney set and the last item revealed for week two is this Mickey Mouse Red and Yellow Mini Akari's limited to only 3,500 pieces. Now this will definitely be the hardest thing to get at the con. And this is probably the most limited number that I've seen within the first two weeks of Waves. So yeah, if you are a huge fan of Mickey Mouse, I wish you luck. I wish I could own this because I love Mickey Mouse. But, sadly, I don't think unless you're at the con and you're really lucky, I think that's the only way you'll be able to get your hands on these. These are, though, some really nice figures. I mean, they're pretty much just a um, glittery, candy-looking red and yellow, but they still look really nice. I love the design. They're pretty simple, but they're great. But yeah, guys, Mickey Mouse, 3,500 3, pieces, 3,500, whatever you want to call it. I love these. I can't afford these, and I'm afraid to see eBay's price. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. I really want to know. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for weeks one and two of NYCC Funko Shared Exclusives. Well, Funko exclusives, hopefully some of these will be shared, like the Black Home Batman, the Superman, the uh, Game of Thrones chick with the cane. I really want Scrooge McDuck, so please let him be shared. But if you look to your right, you'll see the ones that I really want so far from NYCC. You have the Abominable Snowman and the Orange Bird, which I really don't have a chance at, but I'm going to try to get anyway. And then you see all the other ones that I really want, like the chick from Game of Thrones. I want it just because I love characters with canes. But let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing is from weeks one and two. Are you excited for the television wave, the Disney wave? I really want Scrooge McDuck. Star Wars, DC, let me know in the comments. It could be Zack Ryder from WWE. Just let me know in the comments what you're most excited for. That's going to do it for this video, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please like and share. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to start doing more of these videos. If you want me to do more, comment and let me know. And I will make a video on every week of NYCC leading up to NYCC. But that's going to do it, guys. I'm heading to bed. Thanks for watching. Till the next video, bye.